Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm actually going to be doing my GLI TBR. So, in case you're new here, in case you don't know, July is my birthday month. I'm a cancer baby. I usually typically like to take July and just kind of read whatever I want. It honestly usually is my best, best reading month throughout the year. So I want to do that again this year. I want to read fun books. I think I want to lead more, lean more towards reading more romances this month. But I also wanted to just try and do my TBR jar for July and see where it takes me <laughs> and go from there. So that's what I'm going to do. We're gonna go ahead and jump in. I don't have any books in particular that I'm needing to read, so I'm hoping I can have like a kind of free for all if that makes sense. But we'll see how it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. The first one I'm gonna take is this. Oh, that didn't happen. This one. Ooh, and this one I haven't pulled yet. So it is, read a book with a found family, squad, friend group trope. So I'm really excited for this because uh, I this is like my favorite trope, like found family, friend group, squad kind of thing. So I'm really hyped for this. Um, next prompt is... This one? Fitting. So it is read an adult fantasy. So I have become a fantasy girly this year or over the past, I guess, two years, which has been very interesting. Um, so I've acquired a couple of adult fantasy that I've been really wanting to read. So I'm kind of excited for this. We're going to go for the bottom. Let's see if I can reach all the way down into the jar. I'll do that one. Oh, okay. So this one is a book with a number in the title. All right, I'm gonna have to do some intense research with this one. Oop. So this one is a book you've recently bought or received. All right, and now we're doing the last prompt. So we're just gonna choose one of these. All right, so this one is read a 2022 release. Alright, so that is my list. So now give me a second while I go and look at my shelves and decide what's, what's hitting the mood and I'll be right back. So I'm back with my books for my TBR. My camera died so it took me a few days to come back to filming because yeah. But I did manage to pull some books for those prompts that I pulled in the earlier clip. So starting from the first one, a book with a squad, found family, or group of friends. For that one, I actually chose Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. I believe somebody told me this has the found family trope. So I'm kind of just going off what I was told and hoping for the best. <laughs> so we're going to go with this one. This one sounded really interesting. I'll read you the synopsis. It says, with the arrival of her 19th birthday, Princess Kelsey Ra Rayleigh... Glynn is ascending to her rightful place as the new queen of the Tearling. Surrounded by enemies, including an evil sorceress possessed of dark magic, the ro young ruler stands little chance of success. But Kelsey possesses fearsome weapons of her own, including the Tear Sapphire, a jewel of immense power and magic. As an epic war draws near, Kelsey's quest to save her kingdom and meet her destiny begins. A wondrous journey of self-discovery and a trial by fire that will make her a legend if she can survive. So that's not really interesting. I'm all about the self-discovery journeys in books. Um, but I've also been really into fantasy. We're going to go with this one and I really hope that I enjoy it because it sounds like it could be really good. So the next uh, prompt I had was an adult fantasy. So for that one, I actually um, chose a Song of the Forever Rains by E.J. Mello. So the Thief Kingdom is a place hidden within the world of Adelor. Many whisper of its existence, but few have found this place where magic and pleasure abound. 
There, the mysterious thief king reigns supreme with the help of the Mosai, a trio of revered and feared sorceresses. Larkyra Bassett may be the youngest of the Mosai, but when she sings, her voice has the power to slay monsters. When it's discovered the Duke of Lachlan is siphoning a poisonous drug from the Thief Kingdom and using it to abuse its tenants, Larkyra is offered her first solo mission to stop the Duke. Eager to prove herself, Lakaira accepts by posing as the Duke's potential bride, but her plans grow complicated when she finds herself drawn to Lord Darius McKenna, Lachlan's rightful heir. Soon she suspects Darius has his own motivations for raiding Lachlan of the, Lachlan of the corrupt Duke. Lakaira and Darius must learn to trust each other if there is to be any hope of saving the people of Lachlan and themselves. That sounded really dope it caught my interest on amazon so i went in i think either i bought this or someone bought this for me i can't remember right now but i'm really hyped for this it's been stuck in my head the past few weeks which is why i finally just decided to pick it up for july and i hope that i really enjoy it all right so then for the prompt of a book with a number in the title i chose another fantasy and it's kind of a chunker i didn't realize how big this was when i bought it but we're gonna go with it. It is The Throne of the Five Winds by S.C. Emmett. Um, look how thick this is. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So, the Emperor's Palace, full of ambitious royals, sly gossip, and unforeseen perils, is perhaps the most dangerous place in Zion. The Lady Kamor Yala has only her wits and her hidden blade to protect herself and her Princess Mahara. Sacrificed in marriage to the enemy, a hostage for their conquered people's good behavior to secure a tenuous peace. But the emperor is aging, and the Kerr princess and her lady-in-waiting soon find themselves to be pawns in the six princes' deadly schemes for the throne, and a single spark could ignite fresh rebellion in Kerr. Again, this sounded so good, it sounded so interesting, especially with the whole, like, stuck and in the middle of like multiple political plots happening i'm definitely definitely intrigued especially because the like i guess sale sentence they have on the back is two queens two concubines six princes innumerable secret agendas a single hidden blade so that just sounds i don't know so yummy so i'm here for this i'm i'm definitely intrigued i am will be reading the audio though because this is intense all right and then the next prompt was a book you've recently bought so i kind of bought a lot of books and i decided to break up the monotony of all my fantasy <laughs> and pick up a romance and that is a beach trap by ali brady and so this one is about two girls who find out that they're half sisters when they were like kids at a summer camp by coincidence and it kind of i guess like impacts them to the point where they just like refuse to have anything to do with each other and then their dad dies when they're older they're adults and he leaves them both this house so they have to decide what to do with it and one sister wants to keep it and the other one wants to sell it so they have to live in the house for like the summer to basically work through what's gonna what, what they're gonna do with it and I think while they're there like they kind of develop that sister bond and then also there's romance in involved as well so all right, and then the last prompt was a 2020 release. And so for that one, I chose Only a Monster by M Vanessa Lynn. So this one sounded very interesting as well. It should have been the perfect summer. Sent to stay with her late mother's eccentric family in London, 16-year-old Joan is determined to enjoy herself. She loves her new nerdy job at the historic Holland house, and when her super cute co-worker Nick asks her on a date, it feels like everything is falling into place. Then, a good Samaritan attempt gone wrong sends Joan spinning through time, and her life quickly begins to unravel. Her family isn't just eccentric, they're monsters, with terrifying hidden powers. And Nick isn't just a cute boy, he's a legendary monster slayer who will do anything to bring them down. As she battles Nick, Joan is forced to work with the beautiful and ruthless Aaron Oliver, heir to a monster family that hates her own. She'll have to embrace her monstrousness if she is to save herself and her family. Because in this story, she's not the hero. I'm here for this. I've been like really drawn to books where the main characters are definitely not heroes. And so this just fits that super well. 
and I'm just very 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 intrigued to see how this goes so then I have uh, two more books which are for my buzzword for July which is bookish words I have two options that I think I'm gonna either read both because why not or choose between um, the first option I have is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I believe this is about like childhood friends who like for some reason stopped talking and then like one day they randomly run into each other again. It's kind of like a flashback, flash forward kind of thing where you kind of see what led to their breakup but then like the present, you see the present day as well as they get back into their rhythm or something. I don't know. But I've heard good things about this. I've heard good things about Christina Lauren, so I want to give it a chance. And then the second book I have here is The Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. I've heard um, pretty good things about this one as well. I believe this is about a guy whose wife decides she wants to leave him. And so him and his buddies form a book club where they read romances in order to, like, I guess, learn what women want or whatever. But I'm here for this. I'm here to check it out. So these are my two options for those and um, I chose romance to break up my fantasy monotony. So those are the books I chose. I don't have any extra books yet that I'm like go probably gonna read. At least none that I can think of. I think the only one that I might do if I haven't gotten to it in June already is Air of Fire by J. Moss because that's the next book in the Throne of Glass series that I need to read um, because I read the Assassin's Blade instead of Air and Fire so I might read that this month if I haven't read it already but that is my July TBR. I might add more romance into this later but I guess you'll just see in my wrap up whenever I end up posting wrap ups again. But yeah, if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section. Um, leave me an emoji if you're not good at commenting. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are awesome flowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.